Breaking news. Nigerians pressurize Femi Falana to speak on Tinibu's Chicago State University certificate. It's happening, my country people. Nigerians are pressurizing Femi Falana to speak on Tinibu's Chicago State University certificate controversy. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The human rights activist and constitutional lawyer, Femi Falana, is under pressure to speak on the alleged forged certificate presented by President Bola Tinibu to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Chronicle Nigeria reports that Tinibu has rejected the claims that he forged a certificate received from the Chicago State University after the People's Democratic Party uh, presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar challenged the school to provide evidence that Tinibu graduated from the institution. And in what appears to be a coordinated agenda on Wednesday, supporters of Atiku Abubakar and those of Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, have been sharing a message on social media asking Falana to react to the certificate for the allegation. And in a message circulated on X, they claim that the human rights lawyer would not speak to the certificate controversy because he had once defended Tinibu. The supporters of Atiku Abubakar and Obi claim that Falana had been silent because he once defended Tinibu when the issue of certificate forgery first arose. Now, uh, Peter Obi grassroots mobilization posted, for those asking about the silence of Femi Falana on Tinibu certificate saga, you will recall that in 2020, that's in 2002, I beg your pardon, when Chief Guinea Fawanami asked um, when uh, Chief Gu Guinea Fawanami had dragged Chief had dragged Tinibu to court over his certificate forgery, Femi Falana San and Yemi Olbas and Osi Banjo had defended Tinibu even at the Supreme Court. Despite that, Bola Tinibu was found guilty of forgery and pedigree per his claim of the BSc Economics from the same Chicago State University and the Government College Ibadan. The Nigerian Supreme Court protected Mr. Tinibu on the grounds of immunity. And since the 2023 general elections, fraud committed by Tinibu, APC and INEC, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, hasn't said a word regarding the fraudulent election. As the Chicago State University forgery certificate of Tinibu comes up again, Femi Falana has maintained his silence. You will be shocked um, by Femi Falana san receiving an appointment from Tinibu's illegal government very, very soon. Very disheartening, many Nigerians respected and looked up to these characters who are not interested in public good but rather their own stomach with a little touch of public sympathy. However, some persons have hired belief for Falana on X explained why the outspoken lawyer who could not comment on the Chicago State University saga. The first person said, I think Falana has client lawyer privileges. He cannot alter a word on it and must maintain silence because it is forbidden. How will this make his other clients feel that their lawyer can sing uh, privileged information at any time? That is not possible. So my country people, this issue remains a controversy and a lot of people have said that uh, Tinibu administration doesn't have time for all this, you know, all these long talks consigning the Chicago State University. Tinibu's administration is only focused on moving this country forward. So you see the controversy surrounding Tinibu's academic records at the CSU. It's so, so deep. And it seems that a lot of people are paying quite 
a lot of attention on this issue but then you see um this has really triggered a lot of things amongst nigerians most especially as atiku abubaka the pdp candidate had approached the u.s district court in the northern illinois to compel the chicago state university to release tinibu's academic record arguing that it would boost his suit challenging the president election in the february 25th presidential poll now the pdp um, presidential candidate had requested uh, these documents so he can use them in the nigerian court to support his argument that tinibu forged his certificate he claimed to have obtained in the chicago state university in 1979 and submitted to the Nigeria's electoral body, INEC, for the 2023 presidential election. And then on October 1st, the U.S. court ordered the Chicago State University to deliver President Bola Tinibu's academic record to Atiku Abubakar. And then the university provided Atiku's legal team with the document related to Tinibu's study at the institution, as well as copies of certificates with names, you know, and there we got to see that uh, Tinibu's certificate had some discrepancies. And then Atiku started using it against Tinibu, uh, saying that uh, Tinibu forged his certificate here and there. It is just a big saga. But my country people, this is a very tough um, and, uh, and serious issue. But Nigerians are kind of looking at some certain personalities like Femi Falana San. To react to this issue over the forged certificate of President Bolad Metinibu, people are calling and waiting on him, pressurizing him to speak on this very huge controversy. But to a very, very surprise, I mean, Falana is not even saying anything. Uh, and people are quite surprised and shocked that Falana is not saying anything. He ought to have said something, but nothing is coming forth from Falana. So what's the issue? Is it that Falana is siding Tinibu or is it because uh, Femi Falana is a lawyer, he's a son and is not supposed to speak on these controversies, especially as it relates to the president and the Chicago State University saga. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here guys.